Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Um, so we've got some hopefully funny stuff for you today. Uh, we're going to, we'll talk about that in a moment, but uh, let's say hi to Celtic Iron. Hello. We are your shot. Hang on, I got a proper click going on. Oh, wait. Oh, I used to be able to do that better. But anyway, top of the morning to everybody. It's a beautiful, wet Thursday in West Hollywood. And uh, yeah, rocking and rolling. Good to be back here with Colonel Courts and uh, slaying big dollops of truth um, and enlightenment to the world. Thank you for watching. Yeah, so I've had um, a lot of people asking about uh, some Marilyn Manson related interviews that I've got coming up. And so the Manson interview will be out soon. And um, my my panel, my round table with uh, some of the ladies uh, will be out soon as well. So we've got that coming up. Uh, but um, today we wanted to, oh, and by the way, I just noticed your shirt. Uh, <laughs> are you trying to wade into political controversy here with the, the MAGA Sure. No, I'm, I'm actively trying to stay away from any kind of controversy, political or otherwise. Um, but yeah, no, it is like in America, and it says, for, I like the 45 number, it's divisible by three. But uh, no, I support America. I'm an Irish immigrant, all right? And in the middle of the pandemic last year, the fellow fucking sent us $1,200. So we figured the least I could do is buy a bleeding bit of merchandise, you know what I mean? Didn't eat like fucking, it's America, man. I don't give a fuck who the president is, you know what I mean? It's American. Good. That's what I love. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Be nice to each other for fuck's sake. <laughs> Life's tough enough without fucking not getting along with one another. All right. Just fucking everybody be cool to everybody. Hey, Amen. Well, it's good on you. It's a good color for you. So uh, thanks I, very much. Here you go. Here you, go. <laughs> you, never, you never miss an opportunity, uh, and rightly so, to. Well, that's, um, what, that's what they get paid for now, isn't it? That's what they get paid big bucks for. I know. Okay, so we're going to, so I don't know if, how many of you have been keeping up with this. I know some of our Marilyn Manson uh, fans and supporters will know what, what I'm talking about. But uh, weeks ago, Evan Rachel Wood um, posted on her Instagram. Who's Evan Rachel Wood again? Which one's she? There's so many of them. She's I, the main, I know, I know. She's the main one. Of, or she's the primary accuser. You know, the ex, ex-girlfriend, fiance. Um, uh, wait, was she the one that wore all the Nazi stuff? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And she's the um, one who got the job in Game of Thrones, or was that the other <laughs> British one? That's the other uh, ungrateful one. The one that crashed his Jaguar. That's a different girl. Okay. Yeah. So this one is the is this the one that kind of looks like a heroin addict? And uh, it, uh, what, she was she's the I one think that you're like. Thinking, <laughs> I think you're thinking of another one. There's. <laughs> Is she the one whose who's, who's, uh, who's girlfriend or ex-girlfriend's family were convicted of fraud and embezzlement from charities? Okay, that's her. Yeah, I know. The, the redhead looking, yeah, she looks like she's a lunatic. All right? I can guarantee you that woman's bipolar. And you know why? Because my dick gets hard when I look at her. I know, that's how I know a woman has bipolar and, or that she's mental. Because I just get a blush, rush of blood, you know? So hang on a second, what's going on here? Oh man, I Guarantee think it. that's probably true. Um, that's funny. That's really funny. You're like a so you you are able to detect um, mental illness in women by your erection. <laughs> that's like a superpower. <laughs> All right. So, but here's the thing. So, Evan Rachel Wood, she uh, she posted on her Instagram stories uh, this this plea for her followers and fans and Instagram viewers to contact their um, local representatives and demand to know what's being done about Marilyn Manson, about, well, about Brian Warner, she said in the message. Uh, our you good know, friend, Brian Warner, Mr. Warner. Yeah, our good friend, Brian Warner. God bless that's him. Right. That's, that's that, right. That now, nice boy from down the street, Brian Warner. You know the one that helps Mrs. Evans cross the street and take her trash out? That nice fella, Brian Warner. You got it. You got it. That's the one. Also known as the devil himself under the name Marilyn Manson. There you go. Uh, so apparently Evan Rachel Wood is frustrated by the fact that uh, Manson has not been arrested and she feels like, uh, because there's no evidence, and she feels like uh, something needs to be done. Now, she, she posted this before uh, Manson's home was searched. You know, that was the big, I'm sure you saw that, that was the big news, news several days ago was the raid uh, or the search of his home. And they're not going to find anything. But... 
Uh, anyway, but she had posted this and, and she's basically like demanding and pleading and, and for her followers to basically harass their, their representatives and the, and the LAPD and, you know. In the middle of a global pandemic, you know what I mean? And the whole country and the global economy is going to the shits. Yeah. Well, you know, she, uh, it, it came out this week that she's been withholding uh, her son from Jamie Bell, uh, the father of her, her son. And um, she, and apparently it's these court documents uh, came out this week. Uh, apparently he is accusing her of, uh, of lying of, um, about the Marilyn Manson the threat in order to keep his son away from him. Because apparently she was telling, she was telling Jamie Bell that she had to move to Nashville and had to, you know, and had to basically um, go into a kind of seclusion with her son because she was afraid that Marilyn Manson was going to hurt her son. Because according to Evan Rachel Wood, Marilyn Manson had said that he would, quote, fuck her eight-year-old son. Give me a break. Jesus uh, fucking Christ. And so Jamie Bell, in court documents, he said, more or less, I'm paraphrasing, that her story doesn't make sense. She's lying, and she is using this as a, as a pretext to keep him from his son. So look, you've got the, the, ex, uh, the ex-husband now who's calling her out in court documents. And for all of those people, uh, those Evan Rachel Wood defenders who said to me earlier on, well, you know, she doesn't have a problem with Jamie Bell. She has a great relationship with Jamie Bell. Uh, no, she doesn't. So anyway, uh, so yeah. So what we're, we thought we'd uh, do, uh, well, a couple Wait, of things. I just, yeah. sorry, one, one question. Um, yep. Does she have supporters? Like, I imagine only the, her only supporters are other lunatics like Amber Heard or uh, what's her name? Amanda Turd. Amanda, Her- <laughs> Amanda Turd? Amber Turd. What's that girl it, that shit on Johnny Depp's bed's name again? <laughs> I think that basically they have the same types of supporters. So it's these, it's these like real uh, extreme activist uh feminist i hate to even use the word feminist because it's not fair to other feminists I mean, go with these- feminazis feminazis yeah <laughs> yeah i don't know about using nazi thunder say- cunts whatever you want whatever is appropriate <laughs> that feminazis <laughs> thunder cunts no, no, idiots. Uh, and so uh, you can't so- use the word retard you can't say retarded anymore they retarded. all right you i like can't that use retarded it's a shame that was a good word um yeah so what we thought we'd do is uh, take, you know, we're going to take her seriously, Evan Rachel Wood, and we're going to, uh, I'm going to call my local representatives now and ask what's what's going on, what's being done about Brian Warner, and see what they have to say. Now, um, I'm in Texas, and the reason why I'm going to be calling my representatives here in Texas is because in California, it's actually illegal to... Uh, to uh, record someone with, uh, without their consent. But in Texas, it is not because we're like the wild, wild west out here, except when it comes to abortion. But anyway, uh, yeah, so, um, and, but you know what? Evan Rachel Wood, she said, call your local representatives, right? So I'm just doing what she, what she asked. You know, so, I love your green. I love your green top. It matches what I sit on. I mean, little cushion. No, I love the green. Yeah, it's an Apocalypse Now shirt. It's actually Colonel Kurtz. This is Colonel Kurtz on it. Ah, right. Is that your merchandise? I wish. No, I just found this online. It's uh, it's just Apocalypse Now merchandise. But yes, for everybody who wonders, this is Colonel Kurtz from Apocalypse Now. Okay. Cool. All right. So, um, yeah, Louis Gilmer's office guy. I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm like nervous for some reason, actually. Okay. Can you hear that? I can. Congressman Gilmer's office. This is Shay. Hi, Shay. Um, I wanted to uh, I wanted to talk about a concern that I have, and I'm not sure. Do I leave a message uh, with you? Talk to you about that? Um, or sure, I'll welcome your, your comment. Okay, wonderful. Uh, yes. Yeah, so I am. Um, I'm basically calling to ask what is being done about uh, Brian Warner. Okay. I wanted to see if, if uh, Congressman Gomer has any stance on this or is doing anything about it. Uh, I mean, I, I think the way you're saying it sounds like a legal matter on a, a federal level. Okay, so are you familiar, or do you know what I'm talking about? Are you familiar with the, um, the Brian Warner situation? Um, not off the top of my head. 
Well, you actually, you might know him uh, from uh, from his better known name, uh, Marilyn Manson. Have you heard about Marilyn Manson? Uh, I'm not sure what you're referring to. Oh, okay. All right. I, I just, I thought maybe you might know some of his, uh, his songs or whatever. But anyway, so he's, okay. uh, I, mean, I know who it is, I know, but I don't know what you're referring to specifically. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So basically what's going on is, uh, he, he has an ex-girlfriend who has a, a accused him, uh, has uh, falsely accused him of assault. And she has been going on Instagram um, asking people to call their representatives uh, about and ask what's being done about Brian Warner. And so uh, I just, I wanted to call and I wanted to, uh, to put my, to put my voice in here. Um, uh, but that uh, I wanted to see if, if uh, Congressman Gomert has any stance on this or is doing anything about it. Uh, I mean, I, I, based on what you're saying, it sounds like a legal matter and he's on a, a federal level, uh, so it wouldn't be under his jurisdiction, if, if I'm understanding correctly. I see, uh, I see. Well, yeah, it's just the, it's, I guess the only reason I'm calling is just that this, uh, this celebrity, Evan Rachel Wood, um, maybe you've seen Westworld, perhaps she's on there, but anyway, this celebrity, no, no, Oh, you do? Yeah. So she's, but she's been demanding that people contact their representatives. And so I, I just wanted to make sure that I did that. And um, so if you could just leave a message for Congressman Gomert for me, that would be awesome. Okay. And tell me your name and where you're calling from. Yes. Uh, so my name is Kristen. Uh, and so anyway, I just wanted to say that like, um, you know, Marilyn Manson is, is innocent. And he is the victim of a terrible hoax. And I, I really hope that people in Congress will wake up to this um, and that Congressman Gomert will educate himself on this, this topic. Okay. All right. I'll get it logged in. All right. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. Yeah, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Right. Yeah, yeah. Rangers, this is John. Hi, John. Uh, my name is Kristen, and I'm calling actually because I have a, a concern about something, about an, an issue or a topic, and I'm just wondering um, how I can communicate that to Miss Granger. So you can let me know, and I have to belong to the congresswoman. What do you do? Okay, you're kind. Of, sorry, you're kind of going out there just a little bit. Can you hear me? Okay. Hear you. It might be our phone. Apologize about that. I'll I'll do my best to, for you can so you can hear me. Oh, that's so okay. I can hear you now. To, I can hear you now. Two. Um. Okay. So, I, I I'm basically I'm calling to see what is being done about Brian Warner. Okay. Um. Could you give me a little bit more background? Um, well, so I, I'm not sure if you're aware of this or not, but, uh, but Brian Warner is actually the name of Marilyn Manson. It's, it's his real name. Marilyn Manson's a stage name. Are you familiar with Marilyn Manson? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So there is, uh, an activist, uh, a celebrity activist who, a feminist who is, um, is going on Instagram and is demanding that her followers call uh, as many of their like representatives as they can um, to try to force an investigation of this of this man, and um, I think it's really inappropriate that she's doing that. And you know, and, and I I'm just calling to see you know if if Miss Granger has a position on the Marilyn Manson situation or on if she knows anything about what I'm talking about. As of this time, she has not made any statements on that. Um, if she does, it'll, of course, be through her website or newsletter or social media. I like to go forward this to her. Um, as of right now, this is something that, you know, I'll be very frank and honest with you. If this is something where a private individual is requesting something on a social media platform, that's pretty speech. We can't interfere with that. This is done with a investigation or anything like that again we can't interfere we can't have a you know a 
opinion on that since it's a legal to um, but what I can pass it up the up the chain for and then I know you called in and are concerned about it but I'm, I'm just letting you know what we can and can't uh, I totally understand. So um, I, I'm also curious, does uh, does Miss Granger have a position on uh, cancel culture and Me Too? Because one of the things that uh, that I'm really worried about, I feel like there, we're in a situation now where there's just a, there's a real rush to judgment with a lot of these cases. And you have uh, you have innocent men who are being taken down by a, like a, a mob. And I, I'm just wondering, does does uh, does Ms. Granger have those sim similar concerns? I, I can't speak on behalf of the congresswoman. But if she has said anything about that, that's going to, you know, through her through her efforts. But as of this time, I can tell you the congresswoman has not made a statement on that. To my knowledge, um, if she does, then of course it'll it'll be released public and everything. But as of this time, I don't think there's been a by her about that. Okay. Okay. Well, I, I appreciate, I appreciate you talking to me. And I'm just curious, do you like just personally, um, do you, do you familiar with anything that I'm talking about? Or were you aware of the situation at all? I'm aware of the situation personally. I can't give out my opinion. I work for the Congresswoman. I let you know that I'm aware of the situation. And like I said, I can belong to the Congresswoman. All I can really do for you. Gotcha. Well, thank you so much for talking to me, and I hope that you have a good day. You too. You too. Thank All you. All right. Bye bye. Oh, that was uh, more entertaining, huh? Yeah. No. Right. So the question I would have asked him was, "Do you own any Marilyn Manson albums or merchandise?" Oh, shit, yeah. That would have been the move. That would have been not. To, yeah. So that way he doesn't. No, have no, to that's open. good. No, that's good. Because yeah. um, I'm a cowboy. I'm still all right. I'm a woman. Yeah, Richie Sambor wrote all the fucking hits, dude. Bed of Roses, Dead or Alive. Oh. Um, okay, here we go. Okay. Hi, thank for calling the office of Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee. This is Laura. How may I help you? Hi, Laura. Uh, my name is Kristen. I uh, wanted to I wanted to basically share my concern uh, concerns with the representative and um, like basically make her aware of a situation. So, do I would I tell you about it or how does that work? You can uh, give me like, a brief explanation, and then we can see what we can do going forward. Okay, cool. Well, I'm calling about the the Brian Warner situation. Are you are you familiar with uh, Brian Warner? No, ma'am. Okay. You, well, you might actually know him better by his, uh, his stage name. Um, Marilyn Manson. Have you heard about Marilyn Manson? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Well, so basically there's this, this celebrity out there uh, who, uh, a, who he dated um, 10 years ago, and she's accusing him of all these things. And it's, basically it's a Me Too hoax. And she is now going on uh, social media uh, trying to incite her followers, begging her followers to harass their representatives, uh, and and uh, not only in California but uh, but nationally to like call and harass the representatives to do something about this. And I just think that it's really it's really wrong that she's she's doing this. She's perpetrating a hoax against this guy who's innocent, and then she's uh, she's trying to provoke her followers. You know, hundreds of thousands of people to um to waste our our leader's time and so anyway i just wanted to make you aware of that and i hope you'll pass that along to ms lee does she have a, a position on any of this um so i'm confused who is uh who is doing all of that on social media marilyn manson uh, no, no, it's uh, it's Evan Rachel Wood. So it's 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 actually his uh, his accuser. This this woman who's accusing him of of uh, of abuse and assault, and it's and she has not been able to get uh, charges filed against him. She's not been able to make any headway. So now she's telling people to harass their 
their representatives and their 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 leaders. And so anyway, I just wanted to to make uh, Ms. Lee aware of that. And I just wanted to see if she has a, a position on this situation. Okay, so um, I, uh, so anything regarding um, positions or anything, you'd have to call DC. Do you have a pen and paper with you? Uh, sure, yeah, go ahead. Um, it, the phone number is 202. Okay. 225. Okay. 3816. And yeah, just give them a call, tell them what you told me, and they should be, be uh, they should be able to better assist you. All right, great. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kristen. Bye bye. What I'm learning from this, first of all, is that these uh, the people who work for these politicians are really nice. You know, they they're really like pretending to take me seriously. When do, do you have any idea the amount of crazy? That's all their job is is answering crazy. That's okay. <laughs> fucking kidding me this cat's up in the fucking tree i'm telling you it's a racist you know they're like they, they, they deal with that that's what their job is is to answer the phones at the fucking office dude all right everybody well i hope that you en enjoyed this little segment um and uh yeah have a good week i've got an interview with manzan uh good rest of the week i've got an interview with manzan uh coming up He's going to refute uh, Evan Rachel Wood's uh, claims. Uh, he was friends with Evan Rachel Wood and Manson when they were dating, hung out with them, hung out with her one-on-one, -on -one, talked to her about her relationship with Manson. He's got some interesting things to say. Uh, and then I also have this uh, this roundtable that I'm doing with uh, with the ladies, uh, Paula Weiss, uh, Paula, um, Greta Aurora, and Karis. And we're basically going to be doing our version of The View, except we're way better than Whoopi Goldberg and Joy Behar and all of those God annoying women. <laughs> so, all right. Well, Celtic, we'll see you later. Yes. Hits rock and roll. Keep, keep rocking what you got. Check like, and subscribe on the Instagram and uh, sign up to my only fans to see all me uh, additional content. You know what I mean? If you like this version of me, you'll love the X-rated version. All right. God bless. It's a good slogan. All right. Bye, everybody.